I did my presentation on, oh, my project name is Go Go Growth, and it's on, uh, my question is, can you create dry ice bubbles using household items, and how large will the dry ice bubbles grow using it? Uh, my hypothesis is that the dry ice bubbles wouldn't form at all, and obviously, uh, or, yeah. And then, so, my materials that I used was dishwashing liquid, salt, sugar, water, uh, warm water, dry ice, some type of drywall spigot, a piece of tubing string, and a little bowl with something to seal the jar with, and then a big bowl. And I brought in some dry, ooh, some dry ice, <coughs> and I'm going to show you how I did it. First, I took some dry ice, and I put it in here, and it already has water in it. And then, this isn't how I did it uh, the first time, but on my project, I did it sooner or later like this. And then I put this over here, and then uh, this will come out. Uh, some of the smoke that you see that's coming out of here, it comes out when you put that over there, but you can't see it really. And then you take this part, and then you dip it in soap. Okay, and then put more on here so it's starting to go away. Then if you put that over there, then it comes out, and it, yeah, it's not fine, it's just the dry ice. And then if you put enough around there, and then on top, some dry ice bubbles just start forming, but it's not forming right now, I don't know why, but I did the project, it started forming, yeah. oh, another reason that this is starting to break. Up and then. Yeah. Uh, yeah, probably should, but then again, we're running on time. Okay. Oh my gosh. Well, but whatever. No, yeah, of course I touched it. I mean, you don't touch the actual dry ice, but I can touch this and whatever. And see, this isn't. Watch this a little bit of water coming shortly. You can just spin over the procedure. Okay. Um. Yeah, I could. Yeah. Okay. My hypothesis is that uh, dry ice bubbles would not form at all, but it was wrong because when I did the soap one, the bubbles formed and it formed and it came. And water, I mean, the bubble actually formed. And when I did the, when I first started off, I did so I did a bowl and I did one with a big spigot on with it, and then I did another one with the bowl, which included the bowl. Um, this is the picture of the dry ice before I even put it in there, and of course I'm wearing gloves because you don't want to touch that while, yeah. And then when I put it in the bowl, that's what it looked like, and it was all spraying and all that, but like how I was kind of doing it with that. And then this is what it looked like when I was doing the sugar one. It did form when I did the sugar one, and I was very surprised because I didn't think it would form while doing the sugar one. Uh, this is the first picture. It's with the jar. The second picture is with me holding it. I could have held it with bare hand because it just doesn't burn you. Um, and then this is another one with me, like, scooping out the bowl. And then the salt one, it didn't form at all. As you can see, the bowl one, it just it's just the dry ice, and it's coming out. And then that's just my hand when it came out with the salt all over it. Uh, and then the soap one, it formed a lot, and I was very surprised because it just, it was really big. And it was really fun. And, yeah, and then I did three procedures. My first one was to make sure that, ev that everything had a cloth on it or something, like for this at least, because I don't want that touching anything. And then uh, I took the dry ice and I put it in the bowl thing and put soap on top, and thank you, Colin. And finish, finish your project and then decide at the end for questions. OK. And uh, that was for the dry one. And what the, for the bowl one, basically, you just have, have to take the uh, dry ice and just put it on, in the bowl. And then take the, I took a little cloth thing, and I rubbed it across the uh, 
the rim of the bowl and then a big old bubble started forming on top and it was really cool. And then, yeah, it started making noise. I don't know why, but whatever. Uh, and yeah, that's basically it. Um, and the reason why I did three procedures is because when I was continuing on and doing it, it didn't really form as much with the salt and I thought if I tried different procedures that it would form better, but it didn't and that was just the epic fail. I was really mad and sad. And yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, done. Okay. about this is you gotta do really fast because I don't know why but it just stops sometimes and that was frustrating me through the project. Any questions? Yes, uh, Taylor go ahead. Hi. I didn't mean to say it like that. Calm yourself. My purpose was to figure out if I can create dry ice bubbles using the household items and how large the bubbles will grow. <laughs> and yeah, um, oh no you don't have your Tia. My question was, can you create dry ice bubbles using household items and how large will they grow? Uh, Solomon. Oh, wait, huh? My hypothesis was the dry ice bu bubbles would not form at all. And I was really wrong. Tony. Yes, my bibliography was uh, one of my researchers came from YouTubeWatch.com, and that's where I watched the video. Um, and my photos and everything that you see here were taken by the researcher's mom. I said, start, oh, I'm sorry. I, that was before I even watched the video. She just recommended the project first, and then I was like, oh, that seems cool. But I didn't ask her if dry ice bubbles formed, and then uh, I just thought of it. I didn't think it actually had formed, because the way she said it was like it was kind of boring, but I just wanted to do it because I didn't have any other ideas at that time. Uh, OT. Um, what's the difference between dry ice and regular ice? See, if I touch this right now, yeah. If, and if I keep putting my hand on it, it's going to burn me. And it's going to really burn me. Trust me, my brother tried it. Don't know why. Huh? I mean, because in the uh, dry, and ice is just regular ice. Yes. You can't eat that. It's not edible.